Okay, so how do we find the area of this triangle? Well, the information that we have, obviously we have a triangle, but we only have the sides of the triangle. And if you know the formula for the area of a triangle, area is equal to one half uh, base times height. So that's pretty straightforward. Unfortunately, we have the base, but we don't have the height of the triangle. We don't have this part right here. So what can we do? Well, you can use um, some pretty sophisticated mathematics in order to get the height, but uh, really that's not going to be necessary to find the area of this triangle because we have a special formula that will give us the area of a triangle when we only have the sides of that triangle. So this is a really cool formula, and uh, it's not all that, um, well, it's not a super common formula. You generally run into it, uh, this particular formula that I'm going to show you here in a second, in courses like geometry or maybe trigonometry. So don't feel bad if you've never seen this formula. But if you think you can figure out the area of this triangle, well, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can figure this out. By the way, if you need additional help with geometry or trigonometry or even algebra, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links uh, in the description of this video. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the solution to how to find the area of this triangle. So here is our triangle and here is our trusty formula, area equals one half base times height. So again, uh, if you were thinking, oh, uh, I, I know how to find the area of a triangle, I use this formula. The problem is uh, with this particular formula, you need uh, these two pieces of information. So you need the base. Now any one of these uh, sides could be the base. If I kind of rotate the triangle, uh, and I don't want to kind of get too far into um, too many side topics here, but the four could be the base, the five could be the base, but let's just look at this triangle the way it's kind of uh, in its current um, form. Uh, so this right down here, let's consider that the base. So, okay, I have the base. So if this is the base, okay, I need the height, okay? So what's the height? Well, the height is gonna be from here to here, okay? So this is the height of the triangle. Well, I don't have the height, okay? Uh, and I need the height to use this formula. So how do I get this piece of uh, information? How do I get that? Well, you're gonna need some additional mathematics, okay? There's some things you could use from geometry. Uh, we could actually find the angles uh, using the law of uh, sines, law of cosines, and this is kind of pretty sophisticated stuff. Again, you could use uh, some uh, geometry, um, and properties of triangles, but what I'm going to share with you is an awesome formula. Just you know, something like this. This is a formula to calculate the area of a triangle. Well, guess what? There's another formula that we can use to find the area of the triangle when we have the sides, only the three sides of a triangle. And by the way, uh, this particular triangle is just uh, maybe it's like a, it's a scaling triangle. In other words, uh, it's not a right triangle. It's not obtuse or acute. Well, you could. Uh, make the uh, case for uh, this maybe being an acute triangle. But uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry. But this is stuff that you learn in geometry. The bottom line is we have a triangle and we have the three sides of a triangle and we want to find the area. Okay. So uh, whether it's a right triangle, uh, uh, obtuse or acute, uh, we can use this formula. So let me get to that formula right now and then we'll go ahead and calculate uh, the area. Okay, so here is our triangle and here is the formula. Okay, so let's take a look at this formula. So here is a, a triangle with sides A, B, and C. And uh, here is the, the formula for the area. However, let's not look at this uh, right now. Let's look at this part. We need this S. And S, okay, we need S to use this. Okay, so let's just look at what S is. So S is, uh, we're going to add up A, B, and C. Okay, we're going to add up the sides of the triangle and divide by 2. So when we calculate this out, this is going to be this number S. Okay, so now, now that we have this S, we can find the area of this triangle by taking the square root of all of these things right here. We're going to take S, okay, whatever that number is, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to multiply it by S minus A. Okay, so whatever this value is right here, we're going to plug it in right there. We're going to subtract this length right there. Okay, and then we're going to continue to do the same. We'll plug in our S right there, and then we'll subtract B, 
and then S right there, and we'll subtract uh, C, okay? So we just gotta basically follow this uh, formula very specifically, okay, by first calculating S, then plugging in the respective uh, values for these variables, and uh, doing the number crunching, and then we can find the area. Uh, obviously, uh, having a calculator will be very useful for this exercise. Okay, now, if you think you got the idea and you're like, okay, now I can uh, uh, do this problem. So here we have four, five, and six. Now that is our triangle, okay? And here, I'm kind of trying to put it in uh, where you can kind of still see. Well, you know, let me just move in here. because so I want to give you an opportunity to actually do this problem before I do it because really it's just an application of following a uh, formula, okay? And you need to be able to follow formulas in mathematics. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a whirl and see what you come up with. Don't be shy about using a calculator uh, to assist you. You're definitely gonna need one, but uh, you know, plug in all the values, do all the number crunching, and uh, if you don't wanna see the answer, go ahead and put it on pause because I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution right now. Okay, here we go. By the way, I failed to mention and this is probably, you know, I was really gonna, uh, you know, make a mistake here by not mentioning what this formula is, okay? This is uh, Heron, Heron's formula. Uh, it's kind of pronounced different ways, but anyways, uh, this is how it's spelled. Uh, Heron's formula, <clears throat> excuse me. Boy, it's that time of year where I'm fighting these uh, allergies, but uh, so forgive me when my voice breaks up. But anyways, this is the name of this formula, super uh, famous. This guy was just uh, like a superhero and geometry, so many uh, uh, huge uh, formulas or names uh, behind the formulas, like the Pythagorean theorem was named after uh, Pythagoras, which was like this just awesome uh, mathematician. I mean, these, these are, and these are guys too that lived like, you know, thousands of years ago. So it's pretty crazy, you know, uh, but people were able to figure out, you know, all this time ago, but, uh, and we use it today, right? So this is the name of the formula and this is the formula. And now let's get to it. Okay. All right. So again, this is uh, really an application in number crunching. So here is our side A, B, C, and we're going to start off by first finding uh, S. So we're going to uh, uh, add up each of these sides, uh, four, five, and six right here and divide by two. So let's go ahead and do that now. So S is going to be four plus five plus six. And then when we divide that by two, of course, that'll be uh, 15. Uh, divide that by two is 7.5. So we're gonna plug in our 7.5 here, 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 and here, and then we'll plug in the respective uh, sides of the uh, triangle in these uh, spots, and then we'll do all the number crunching. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at what that looks like. And here it is, I kind of uh, spared you all the number crunching. So this is S, right? So S is 7.5, and now we have 7.5 or S minus one uh, leg of the triangle, which is four. And then we have 7.5 minus the other leg, which is five and 7.5 minus six. Now mo notice that this is uh, in parentheses grouping symbols. So you do have to calculate this out, uh, these individual numbers, and then multiply this times this, uh, the result of that, and the result of this, and the result of this. So you're gonna have this product. Once you have that, then you take the square root and you're gonna get 9.9, .9, okay? And that is the area. Of course, we don't have any uh, units of measure here. In other words, if this was like centimeters, uh, for example, uh, our area would be in uh, centimeters squared. So just keep that in mind. But in this case, 9.9 uh, .9 is the answer. 